is Kartika and you are on my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do a review of a curling iron that I recently got from Nika and I was so intrigued to do this video because I just wanted to know how this curling iron works like because I have heard really really good reviews about it like online and this is by Alan Truman. Uh, so if you have heard about this curling iron, please comment down below if you have used it too. And uh, yeah, I am so excited about this video because I am going to do a beach wave that is shown uh, for the ad of this curling iron and I am going to try it out in front of you guys. So you can also try it out. So if you have a, a curling iron, you can also try this uh, trick and tips that I am going to give you with this. Uh, video and uh, yeah, if you don't have this curling iron, it's all right. You can do it with the other curling iron too. And uh, yeah, let's just don't waste any time and get into the video. So today we are going to test this baby out. It's Alan Trumor's Thermal Line Ceramic Wand, and it's a curling wand. So I heard a really really good review about this curling iron and I was like looking for a curling iron because always I just uh, use my Philips straightener to curl my hair and that curl is not like actual curls like it's actual curls but you know that beachy wave vibe I just like that so I wanted a you know thick curling iron so I just got this one and I'm gonna test this right now uh, how it goes. So if you are interested in knowing the review about this curling iron, please keep watching. Curling iron comes in this packaging. It has a you know, plastic wrapper around it. So I just opened it because I wanted to check if it works or not just to you know, return if it doesn't work. So yeah, I just opened it and just switched it on and it looked like it's probably alright or not. So I just did that. Uh, so it just comes with a plastic wrapping around it and then you just have to open it like this. This is how the curling wand looks like. So this is how the curling wands look like. And it comes in this plastic bubble wrap. And you also get a info guide with it so that you can know how it works and its other Informations all in this paper. So we are just gonna keep it right here. It's a nice box. So I just wished if they had a casing to put this iron wand in because I can't just keep in this box uh, every time I just use this iron. So it was good if they would have given a casing with this iron. So this is how the iron wand looks like. It's really not that heavy. It's a lightweight iron wand and you have this wire it's a really really long wire if you want to use it like if your charging plug is like far away from where you get dressed so you can use this this much of wire to connect it and it's a two pin also you get this tag along with it which says do not remove this tag because it has warnings written over this so the warning says keep away from water and reduce the risk of fire. Never use the device in water or other liquid. Do not put the device on plastic or any material sensitive to heat. Switch off the device after use. Never use the device with bare feet or when hands or feet are wet. So these are the warnings that you have to keep in mind while using this iron. So you get this screen over here where the temperature is mentioned. And you get these three buttons over here. The middle button is for on, and the right button is for reducing the temperature, and the left button is for increasing the temperature. So this is these three buttons you get. And yeah, that's about it for this iron. And you can just keep it on the surface like that so that it just doesn't touch the surface. This side and this side of this iron doesn't get heated only the iron rod heats from this side so that you can also you know uh, touch it from here while curling your hair so yeah that's a good thing so i'm aiming for a beachy wave so for that i have to first you know uh, straighten my hair with my gloves iron and then i'll just 
uh, go with this iron rod and curl my hair so yeah let's get started with the video so this is how my hair looks after a wash uh, it's like kind of a wavy hair it's not too straightened or too curly so yeah this is how my hair looks like after a wash I have to straight the whole hair right now just to you know make it wavy so the first thing you need to do before curling or ironing your hair is use a serum it's a streak serum so before curling or ironing your hair you have to use a serum which is heat protectant so I use this streak serum and this is not a heat protectant serum but it's it actually does the work I don't know how but it does the work for me and I am using this serum right now this is by streaks so I just take a pump of it not a lot just a pump of it so this much for that much of hair I'm just gonna apply it on the ends of my hair just the ends not on the whole hair it just calms out the frizz and it also protects your hair from getting the heat directly so this is how I am gonna apply the serum on my hair so I have long hair that's why I need a lot of serum to apply if you have short hair you don't need that much of serum just a pump would be enough for you so now I'm gonna section my hair and I'm gonna straight it so this much hair I'm gonna keep away so this is how I straighten my hair every time I want like a set hair I just do this so the upper part of the hair I have just clipped it and I'm gonna section it into two now so this is two section of hair so this is this is this much how long my hair is right now as you can see it's too long I know that it's hard to manage this much of long hair but yeah I'm just gonna comb it using my fingers I don't wanna use a comb right now but it's good to use a comb if you want to while straightening your hair it's just more manageable I usually use this wooden comb to comb my hair so just make it you know tangle free so that it's easily straightened out so I'm gonna so I'm just gonna straighten my hair quickly and show you how it looks after straightening so this clip is going to be really fastened up so that you don't get bored while I'm straightening my hair so yeah so this is the Philips straightening iron that I use and I have already switched it on and I'm gonna straighten my hair just taking a small section right now and just going through it like this not too much pressure just a little pressure and just going to straighten it out I don't want a strict straight hair like too straight just a little bit straight so that I can easily curl it up so yeah this is how much straight I want so just a little softer hand on the hair do not press the iron too much just have to like go through it just once or once or thrice until it just get a little straighter yeah it's all right now so this much straight you want now you can see the difference this is how the hair looks like without straightening and this is how the hair looks after straightening so I haven't straightened it too much like the ends you can look that it's curled still so yeah I'm just gonna go from this side to now make sure you don't burn your ear with the flat iron so yeah just be careful with it So yeah, so now I have straightened the two sides of it, 
so I'm gonna show it to you. This is how it looks like. Straighten down. It's not too straight, as you can see. It's a little bit frizzy, but yeah, that's how I want before curling my hair. So I'm just gonna do the upper part also, and then I'll just speak to you guys. <laughs> Straightening it for like you know you know not a perfect straight but yeah why I didn't just straighten it like fully because it just looks so flat and the hair just gets too you know uh, what to say the volume of that hair just goes away if you just do a too much of flattening of your hair like hair straightening so I just don't like that chipka chipka look <laughs> so I just like this voluminous hair and that's why I just don't straighten my hair from the roots to the ends like I just do the halfway and the roots just looks fluffy and it just makes the hair also uh, fluffier now I'm gonna do is curl my hair with that uh, and trimmer curling iron so excited to use it because I have a really long hair I need to section it and just make it workable so I'm just gonna fold this much of hair from the top and I'm gonna curl it later and I'm gonna clip it with this pulp like clip right here and these two sections are we gonna work first so I'm just gonna switch it on and show you how it turns on. So this is the screen where you can see off written. So this is on off right now. When I press this middle button, it's just gonna get on and you can see the uh, temperature over here in this screen. So this is on and it's right now on. The temperature is increasing. So right now the temperature is it's still increasing. It's now 78. 80, 81, 80, 84. So the this means the increasing number means that the iron is heating up and it's gonna stop at some temperature and that's when you're gonna start curling your hair. So we'll just wait for the temperatures to stop. Till then you can just keep it right on your desk so that it just heats up and you just do your detangling and stuff like that and just sectioning your hair when it just heats up. So right now the temperature I have set is 180 and when it reaches 180 it's just gonna stop increasing the temperature so as you can see it's on 180 right now. So you can just use this arrow uh, buttons right here to just increase or decrease the temperature you want. So I'm just gonna work with 180. This is the best temperature for my hair. So I'm just gonna use it. So how you are gonna go with this iron rod is just go behind your head like this and take a thick section right here like this. This much section. So for beachy waves you need a thicker section and if you are going for loose curls you can take uh, this much of section and work with that. So I'm going for beachy waves and I'm going to use this much section and you are going to just take it around your head like that and go around your head like that. You are going to keep it like straight like, like that. Don't just touch it on your back. Uh, just be a little careful with it and you are gonna just take it away from your head and rotate it like this. Yeah. So you're just gonna keep it for like 5 to 10 seconds and you're just gonna you know, release the hair so that it just doesn't gonna burn your hair. It, it is not gonna burn your hair but you have to be careful. This much is enough for me. And you can see the curl. So yeah. 
this is how I wanted it to be a loose skirt so yeah I think I need a little bit less section for me. so you're just gonna do it one more time yeah. because I have long hair it's just a little tough to do this so yeah I'm gonna do it once again I'm just gonna release it so this is the way I want it. I'm just gonna you know, pull it a bit so that it just loosen up a little more. So once again with this section, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Just take it around your head like that and just while you know twirling it on that wand piece, make sure you don't burn your hand. Please keep it away from your ear and just be careful. So yeah. Again, not too much. Just pull your hair a little bit so that the curl loosens up. So this section is done. So you can see such pretty curls. Just like spring, it's so pretty. In just two minutes, I did it. So <laughs> I'm gonna do for this side also. All you don't gonna do is just keep it like this. Keep it like this and take a bigger section of your hair and just pour it around this one away from your face. And just keep it for like two to three seconds and just drop the hair like that. So yeah, one more time because I just did it. That. That's it. So yeah. Losing curl. Good. Yeah. So this is how I'm done. Again, taking a section and just gonna do it like that. Please, please, please keep your fingers away from it. It's too hot and you are gonna burn your finger with it. So please keep a distance with it. So yeah, just keep it for 10 seconds or 15 if you want. And just release it. So yeah, this is how it looks like right now. And I'm gonna just curl the whole hair and I'll just show you how it turns out. Turned out really, really good. 
it's such a good iron you just need a 20 minutes of your time and it just curls and makes your hair look so gorgeous just like that you uh, see on that shampoo ads and something you just see your hair like that such set hair it just makes it like that you can see it's a proven fact right here you can see my hair and it just looks like that doesn't it oh i just took 20 minutes of the time and it turned out so good so you can see how baby it looks you just have to keep the iron for two minutes on your hair and it just uh, it just curls it out like this such baby pretty cute hair i in love with my hair right now so i'm just gonna go and do some hair flips for you so that you can see how good it looks and yeah so tell me guys if you like this iron and if you like what it did to my hair please comment down below if you would like to buy this iron or not so this iron retails for 3000 rupees and it's a really good iron and it's a really great company Allen Cooper it's a UK based company so I can you know feel like it would rate that much um, but it's really worth the price and I got it on Nika for rupees 2 to 4 9 there was I think 25% off that time and I just I wasn't even thinking to buy it because I already heard really really good reviews of it so I just grabbed that offer and <laughs> bought it and I am so glad that I bought it because it's so good I am in love with my hair right now so so if you are having any query about this iron and how to curl your hair or anything else you can just comment down below and I'll just answer your queries um, so yeah this is it and I hope you guys like this video and uh, please mention down what else do you want to see on this channel and uh, yeah please like this video share this with your friends and family if they are planning out buying any curling iron you can recommend this iron or you can just recommend this video so that they can see how it works and then decide if they want to buy it or not so yeah so please like this video share this video and also subscribe to my channel and please follow me on my instagram also if you like this face and the videos i make i'll see you next time Bye bye.